Yo, 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 what's going on out there, Fight World? This your boy Money back with another one, fam. And this one here is on the king of the welterweight division, Earl the Truth Bench Jr., the undefeated WBC, IBF, and Super WBA Unified World Champion, looking to be the first man to become the undisputed welterweight world champion in the four belt era when he take on turns Bud Crawford July 29th for all the marbles. Now, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls all over the world, Earl Spence had his last final um, training camp and his workouts and his shakeouts, getting ready for Terrence Bud Crawford and a big fight that we all been wanting for a couple of years now. You understand what I'm saying? EJ has been hitting the road. EJ has been hitting the pads, and he's been staying focused and staying sharp because he knows what he's up against, but also he knows that his dream is right there in front of him. You understand what I'm saying? It's that much closer to him each day go past now, and he's doing everything he got to do to make sure that his dream come true, right? He's leaving everything in the ring, and he's not leaving no stone unturned. You understand what I'm saying? My guy's running that extra mile, and he's sparring that extra round. He want to make sure that he's sharp and that he worked on everything, and once he get into that ring and that bell go ding, ding, he going to give it all he got. He's going to give it all he got. But him going... Full throttle, you know, in his last training camp, I mean, man, he's looking amazing. He's looking sharp. I mean, the sharpest that he ever been. He's having a happy camp. You understand what I'm saying? He's having a happy camp. And when you see Earl Spence smiling, you know what I mean, through a gruesome training camp that he's going through, because it's not easy, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let that be known. No training camp is easy when you're losing weight. But when you can see Earl Spence smiling, you understand? Getting ready for the biggest fight of his career, man, with his shirt off, with his nutritionist, losing the weight the proper way and not, you know, killing himself by not being able to drink no water. I mean, eat unhealthy, but he's trying to keep the diet down himself. You know, just trying to do things on his own and trying to keep the, you know, the the um, the weight down from what he's usually doing from pre-caps. You understand? Now he got people working on that and, 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 you know, keeping them good and keeping them ready, keeping them focused. So now all he has to do is go in there and do his job and that's work on the game plan and train his ass off to get ready for July 29th. You understand what I'm saying? As y'all can see, man, the gym has been hot as ever. Hot as ever. 100 and plus degrees inside the gym. You know, the world-class gym uh, ran back Derek D. James, you know, the future Hall of Fame training coach who is the 2022 um, trainer of the year. And he's looking to be the 2023 trainer of the year as well when he got her and helped Earl Spence accomplish his dream of becoming the undisputed welterweight world champion against Terrence T. Bud Crawford, you know, who people some people consider the number one pound for pound fighter at the moment. But he's most definitely a future Hall of Famer and most definitely a worthy opponent to go out there and face. You understand what I'm saying? So Earl Spence, man, he's doing everything he got to do, fam. He's doing everything he got to do. And, you know, we all seen the um, the grand arrival at um, Las Vegas, which they've been in Las Vegas. And if y'all seen him up on the stage, you can see that he's in great fucking shape. He's in great shape, man. Great shape. His mind is focused. You understand? And all he's worrying about now is going out there and executing the game plan. You know, staying focused, staying sharp, listening to his trainer, and going to work, man. Going to work, giving us the fans one of the greatest fights that we ever seen in in the history of the sport. Not just of this decade of this year, but in the history of the sport. Because that's his mentality. That's his mentality. Look at him with his headphones on, man. These are different days of him running, hitting that road, putting that extra mile in. You feel me? Putting that extra mile in, man. Because you know hard work pays off at the end of the day. You understand what I'm saying? Hard works pays off at the end of the day. So when we see Earl Spence out here, y'all, and, and we, you know, calling him the king of the welterweight division, it's because he worked his ass off for that title. He worked his ass off for that title. And we all know the situation that he's been in, everything that he's went through to get him hurt. A lot of fighters can't even bounce back from that. A lot of fighters probably don't even want to bounce back from that. Some fighters would just be happy that they're alive and that they can get into the ring and make a few dollars and they could probably call it quits after that. But not Earl Spence. Nah, not Earl Spence. He's built different. He is him. You understand? 
he's still chasing this goal to be the undisputed welterweight world champion. And then after that, going up to 154 pounds and starting scrap season all over to become world champ once again. You understand? That's a different type of guy, man. That's a different type of mentality. That's a man that has no quit in him. That's a man that knows what he wants. You feel me? And like you always say, this is for you know, me to feed my family and to make sure my kids straight and my grandkids straight, to make sure my parents, my mother and my father straight, where they can wiggle their toes and they don't have to worry about nothing at the end of the day. I can retire them. My sisters, my nieces, my nephews, you know, make sure, you know, the people around me straight and make sure my circle is tight, bro. You got to respect that about that man. You got to respect that. So, yes, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this last training camp, he pushed it to the limit. He pushed it to the limit. You understand? Got the, like I say, the last roll work in, the last shakeout with Derrick James in the ring, which I'm quite sure, you know, they're going to do a little bit more shaking out for us, just hitting the mitts, just to stay sharp and things of that nature. But no more sparring, no more running, no more uh, punching the bag, no more none of that. It's just strictly now losing the rest of the weight that you got to lose. You understand? Making weight on, on Friday, having a press conference tomorrow, Thursday, right? It's the final press conference. Having to weigh in on Friday, rehydrate back to where you need to get to, and then just sit back waiting on that time, baby. Sitting back waiting on that time. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are here. We are here. You know, it's the fight we all been waiting for. No excuses, man. No if, ands, and buts about it, man. You feel me? Charles Crawford been putting in this hard work. He been training his ass off, right? I'm quite sure he felt like he did everything he needed to do to prepare himself for the best Earl Spence ever. I say the best Earl Spence ever, but he got a problem on his hands, man. He got a problem on his hands. This man is on a mission. He's on a mission. And he's been on a mission ever since he told you I'm going to be the undisputed world champion. And all he's been doing is showing up and showing out. I repeat, all he's been doing is showing up and showing out. You know, grabbing belt after belt after belt. From a world champ to the next world champ to the next world champ. And now he's at the final level with the last world champion. For him to accomplish his goal, and he's not going to let nothing stop him. Nothing. You understand what I'm saying? So we can all get ready for something special, man. You know, shouts out to Earl Spence for making this fight happen. Shouts out to him, you know, for, for making the sacrifices to give us, the fans, something that we all deserve in this boxing game. Giving the boxing game what it deserves. But also giving themselves, him and Terrence Bud Crawford, you know, the fight that both of them need. Because, like he said, that's my dance partner and there's no way I can leave 147 pounds. Fuck 140 pounds. No way I can leave the sport of boxing. The sport of boxing without fighting this man and, you know, putting on uh, for the people and, you know, making history. You know what I mean? Making history. So I respect Earl Spence to the fullest. Everybody know this is my guy right here. Everybody know I ride with him 120. I'm 10 toes down behind him no matter what. And my dog will become the new undisputed what's away world champion in the four belt era and accomplish his dreams and his goals. And it's going to feel damn good, man. It's going to feel damn good. Because that's what he put all his hard work in for. That's what he sacrificed his body for. And it's going to pay off at the end. So, EJ, great job, my brother. Now it's time to finish it. You understand? Time to go in there and, and, and you know, teach this man that you ain't to be fucked with. Teach this man that everything they said about you was false. And then let the people know that I'm the baddest motherfucker on the planet. Give me my crown. Respect me. Right? First and foremost, put some respect on my name. And at the end of the day, put me where I belong, right at the top with the greats. You understand? At the top with the greats. Because that's exactly where I belong. Let's go work, EJ. Let's go take that last scrap. Let's become great, and let's move on to big and better things. Straight like that.